anyone who has questions help me at nurmuhammad.com. More of the questions of issues in their life and how to follow the tariqah, not necessarily what's the distance from here to the moon. It's more of questioning on how to, how to develop, how to, uh, to follow guidance is, is more important than trying to think of you know spooky questions and what's this and how tall is the jinn and what color is their skin, these are of no importance. Importance of the, the emails are that you build a relationship of how you're feeling, how you're struggling, what are the, the things that are sort of facing your life in your way towards the Divinely Presence and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad People have emailed now and they're so confused about halal meat because we talked about halal meat. And so I don't understand that something can be zabiya or not zabiya and be halal and can't go too much into it. But halal in English is permissible and has nothing to do with meat. It is a legal phrase in which determines something is permissible or is forbidden. Zabiya is a way in which to slaughter meat according to Islamic religion. Something can be halal which is permitted but doesn't have to be zabiya. But there's a mafia in charge of halal stickers and they want to stamp all the meat with their sticker and if you don't buy the sticker from them they're very angry. These are completely separate issues in the Western world. In the Western world Allah described Surah 5 verse 5 the food of Ahlul Kitab is halal for you and your food is halal for them. So khalas is finished, There's, you cannot make haram what Allah made halal. So Ahlul Kitab is halal for you. They say, but these Ahlul Kitab they're crazy, they're like this, like that. They cannot be crazier than in the time of and in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad not accepting the risalat of Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet still saying their food is halal for you. Then they say, okay if it's not zabiya it's haram, say that's a lie and that's not true at all. Because when you talk about zabiya, they say it has to be some guy with a knife, he has to mention Allah's name and he has to do it with a knife. Alhamdulillah that's the zabiya practices. But if there's not a grocery store 1500 years ago, what were they and how were they killing the meat? They were killing by arrow, they were killing by sharpened stone. They were killing by sharpened pieces of wood and they were all hunters. They were not sitting in a slaughterhouse gathering animals and then chopping them by knife. They had to run and find the animal. So and there are many hadiths, we're not going to spend the time here to describe the hadiths. The Prophet was describing from each communities. They came to Prophet and said, we don't have knives. We kill them with a sharp stick when we're hunting or a sharpened stone. He said, as long as the blood is taken out, alhamdulillah. And that's why tariqah comes to teach you the reason the hikmah for zabiyah is because Prophet wanted the blood which shaitan runs in to be taken out of the animal. All the germ and bad energy of everything is in the blood. Blood is forbidden for anyone in Islam. So we don't make blood soup and blood sausages, this blood is completely satanic. So the meat and the reason for zabiyah was to take the blood out. And when you eat the people's book Ahlul Kitab most their slaughterhouses immediately cut, lift the animal and all the blood comes out. If you have concern about the energy of the meat that you buy from a grocery store, you put it in salt, make your du'a and eat. And there's even hadith about 
somebody bringing food to the house of Prophet and they don't know what their belief was, we got the food, what should we do? He said, mention Allah's name and eat the food, it's a ni'mat. Don't ever turn away Allah's ni'mat and mercy to you. So these people who wish to make religion hard in the West, it's a business, it's a stamp. They even call our center and saying, this halal has to have our stamp. I said, no, I know the butcher and I know where he's buying it from the halal market, I don't have to have your stamp. So this is a… this is just you know, it's a racket. People's book, Ahlul Kitab, Alhamdulillah take the meat home, make your du'a ila sharaf al-Nabi kiram, it's the du'a is on the app. If you have concern that there's blood on the meat, you wrap it with salt and then you wash the excess salt off and alhamdulillah. It's Allah's ni'mat and Allah wants no hardship on the believer and make everything to be easy inshaAllah. Bismillah. Click the link now to subscribe.